This visit with Jerry has been really stressful, and since he's going back home soon, Tammy wanted to go on a date with him. But with her weight, he's too damn skinny to push her around. So me and Michael have to go with him. It's the next best thing. Jerry just came on to me. What? <laughs> no, I did not. Jerry's been here for about a week now. I need somebody to hold the door open. It's already open. This is Jerry and my official first date. Oh, do Mexican food, though. Mexican's pretty good. Yeah. Have you ever tried it? I have. Oh, oh. oh okay. Shoot the wall there. Oh, there we go. Oh. The food do smell good. A little bump there. You might have to go backwards. <clears throat> there you go. Good hey. Good time. Can I get y'all started off with some drinks? I want a sweet tea. I know that. Sweet tea? I'll take that same. Okay. The doctor tells you you can't order a sweet tea, and then you order a sweet tea knowing you can't have it. Just because I order something don't mean you have to order. Was well, your sugar low, too? Yeah. You're not diabetic, are you? <laughs> no, I did. I, I was told to try not to drink it so much. You can't even have soda, though. He did not say I could not have a soda. One a day. I wanted to get the pop, but I chose to get tea. Tea's a lot better for you than pop is. Yes, I know it has sugar in it. Sometimes it is hard to resist. I thought it was going to be hot. Serve hot. But it's cold. That's going to go soggy. It already did. Just that quick. At a Mexican restaurant, or even some restaurants, they'll have some condiment, con yeah, condimentary, <laughs> condimentary, whatever, free chips and salsa. I think I did pretty good. I only ate three or four chips. I didn't go too crazy. Okay. Is it spicy for you? I can't eat that. Jerry's not a. A Mexican food connoisseur. That hurt. Yes. You want to know my trick? If it's too spicy, put sugar in it. Yeah. I know that. that, that that's true. Chips and salsa is really hard to ignore because it's right in your face. If you see it, you're going to eat it. Don't you love it how we match our mouth? We're not even close. Yeah. We, we're not even close. <laughs> Can I get y'all started off with anything? I want Fiesta pineapple. Okay. And I want the same thing. Okay. We order his steak. He wants a taco bowl with steak in it. Just steak? Yeah, just cheese? steak. Steak and cheese, yeah. Okay. Uh, steak fajitas. Okay. No rice, no beans, and no tortillas. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm feeling nervous because Jerry's leaving in a few days and I need to get something off my chest. I need to know that you accept me no matter what. That's for me? Yes, yes. ma'am. You sure you don't want the tortillas? I'm sure. It's a pretty big portion. Portions are like, wow. Who the heck are they trying to feed? I know I'm fat, but damn. So, like, Jerry, I got some stuff that we need to talk about. And what's that? I'm um. pregnant. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's hard telling Jerry about my secret. I need to get in there and get it over with. Rip the Band-Aid off. You can tell me anything. Tammy wants to tell Jerry this big secret because she wants him to know the real her. Tammy needs to tell him because they're in a relationship and he, he needs to know. I am. Pansexual.
What is it? It means love is love. I would date anybody, whether they're transgender, straight, gay. So what you're saying is that you would date uh, a transgender guy? Yeah. Or girl. It's about how they make me feel, not how they look. I always thought I was bisexual. And then I started talking to one of my friends and she told me she was pansexual. And I asked her kind of what it meant. It means you love everybody, not just the same sex. And I was like, well, I guess I am too, because I wouldn't mind being with someone that's transgender or whatever. All right. I mean, it is what it is, Tammy. I still love you, though. I'm still trying to figure out um, what it means, but I'm OK with it. I love Tammy the way she is. <clears throat> Pants, six. Never heard of it. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm happy that he took it pretty well. Acceptance of you know, people's sexuality is important to me. Oh, you have sex with pirates? That's pirate sexual. <laughs> what? <laughs> Can't take y'all nowhere. <laughs> Before I knew what pansexual was, I thought it was people have sex with pants. <laughs> well, it makes sense. <laughs> no, it don't. Yes, it does. <laughs> Think about it. Pansexual. What is a pants? Really? Oh. Tammy's sexuality ain't a big deal, but it's nice to be transparent with the one you love. It's good that Jerry loves her regardless of her sexuality. Yeah. I heard you were leaving soon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It would be nice for you to come back soon because we're moving out after the baby's born. And it's nice to have somebody there with Tammy, so I ain't got to worry about her as much. I'm not a child. Yeah, you are. Jerry's okay. I have no harsh feelings other than him needs to quit bringing in food. Are you hoping it works out with Jerry? Yeah, so I ain't got to do with the rest. I'm having a baby. Michael's going to have to take care of me. I'm going to have to take care of me. Who's going to take care of Tammy? Jerry. 